Hey everyone, it's me, and today we are getting into the next chapter of the classic Doctor Who. This one is called The Web Planet, and this episode is called The Web Planet. So without further ado, let's get to more classic Who. I'm gonna watch with you just like I always do. We have been slowly dragged down. Hmm. Hmm. Dragged down? Hmm. To what? Indeed, to what? That looks a bit grim. Where are we? She's gone back to her, kind of her old outfit. What is, she, what is she doing? I guess it's just the noise? Well, that's not friendly or good. I would never leave the TARDIS. Good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Good. The pile response is satisfactory. What can you hear, Vicky? A sort of humming. Ooh. You know, the, the, the thing that young people and young animals hear. <laughs> Excuse me, you're in the way. Oh, it stops. Is that how that works? Oh, you mean it's a you higher right frequency? Now? Yes. Yes, thanks. I think it's wild that at a certain age you can hear different frequencies. <laughs> Do not leave the TARDIS. This is not, well, I mean, you're also on the moon. Oh, it seems like they're all hearing it. I saw a flash behind one of those crags. The doctor and I are going outside to have a look around. Now, don't worry. I won't let him out of my sight. It's an atmospheric density jacket, to be precise. Oh. <laughs> I see. Is the atmosphere a bit thin? Yes, I'm afraid it's rather subnormal. I don't understand how the exterior of the doors here are like those round circles, but then when you look at the TARDIS, it doesn't show that, so it's a little... That seems odd. What's that about, guys? Someone explain that to me? It doesn't make any sense. Have you decided yet whether to take the prescribed dose? It looks a bit medieval. What do you mean? Medieval, I like well, how she pronounced it. You wouldn't like it if I wanted to properly. stick leeches all over you, would you? You can't blame my generation for everything, and those pills belong to the doctor. Well, he must have picked them up on his travels then, because I'd never seen aspirin before. So you studied medicine at school, did you? Yes, of course I did. Didn't you teach it? No. We worked upwards from the three R's. Hmm? Reading, Reading, writing, writing arithmetic. arithmetic. Oh, it was a nursery school. It was not. Oh, oh. I wish I'd gone to your school. How old were you? Well, I was ten when I took the... Ten? Then... <laughs> what did you do in your time? Live in the classroom? Live in the what? Classroom. Lecture hall. <laughs> How long did you study? Almost an hour a week. We had these machines, you see, and we always... All right, Vicky. Now look, you don't think there's anything wrong with those pills, do you? Mm -hmm. well, the bracelet? No, I haven't had it for very long. Was it a present? Mm. From Nero, as a matter of fact. Oh. From Nero? But it couldn't have well, been. We had a chance to tell you before, but Ian and I went to Rome also. What? I, I'll what? tell you all about it when you wake up. I'm not sure whether you're making it up or not. I'll ask Ian. He'll tell I like the well, fill in of exposition that. there. He'll be back soon. Back? Have you got something sharp I can have for a moment? Hmm? Uh, oh, try my pen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very clever. Very clever. You know you've never done that before. That's a remarkable conjuring trick. <laughs> that was no conjuring trick, Doctor. Hmm? That was my pen. It, it vanished into thin air. Oh, my job. Vanished! I always thought in space there was, you couldn't produce sound, so I don't know how there's an echo. It must be something weird going on here. This isn't the regular moon. Feeling. Hmm? What sort of feeling? I have a feeling we're being watched, haven't you? Not particularly, no. I must say that if I lived here and I heard you roaring your head off, I'd probably come down and take a look at you. And take my pen. Take my pen. Yes. Whatever power has got hold of the TARDIS has taken your pen, of course. Ha ha! Now then, there's something for us to solve. Come along, come along. Uh, I mean, I can see where Ian's coming from, but 
I suppose I can see where the doctor's coming from. Like, oh, come on, he took your pen, what's the big deal? Oh, no, where's the doctor? Whoa, that's weird. I wish we'd materialized in some really luxurious place, you know, lots of lovely things to buy and eat and wear. Is your arm hurting? No. A little while ago it moved without my intending it to. <laughs> hmm. I'm just letting my imag... Okay. That was built. Yes, it when? Indeed, so when? Old. So old. <laughs> well, it isn't Nelson. No. It certainly has nothing to do with holding the ship here, my boy. Hmm. Any form of life would need that. Eh? <laughs> wait, wait. Huh? Indeed. What's the matter? So just touch things. A little premature. Mm. A I would have at least brought gloves oh, and maybe I something to grab really things one with. Boy, but the one round your middle. Hmm? <laughs> Hope my pants stay up. Yes, well, that's your affair, not mine. <sighs> Is he going to go number one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> yes. Oh, just a minute. <laughs> Dude, you're about to touch that with your bare hands. Look at yes, that. I do see. Uh, You've ruined it. That was my Coal Hill school tie. <laughs> you just uh, saved just... your life. You were about to have a wash in there, weren't you? Or probably drink some of it. Ah, you really nearly had the remnants of a Coal Hill exactly. school tie in there instead of this wretched old, ragged old tie. <laughs> It was in there. I saw something in there. I tell now, you. Now, my young man, if this is your idea of revenge for that pie, then I say I think it's a pretty poor effort. Doctor, eh? this is not revenge. I now, listen. We came here to find out the source of interference. Now, I suggest we keep our minds on this subject. Go rambling on. Come along. That's it. <laughs> Why don't we all just like wear earmuffs? I'm sure that the doctor's got to have something like that. He is from the future, and well. He's from somewhere else, regardless. He's tribal through time and space, I think he... Well, we're gonna go out there. Oh boy. How about we close that door somehow? Lady, take that thing off. Come on, Barbara, just take it off. It clearly is not worth keeping. She can't go out there, she can't breathe. It's a moon. What is going on? Is she dead? How does that work? You mean the noises and messages? It probably comes from some... So Barbara's dead now? A machine operated by it. But we must find the source of this interference. Now, come on. She can't breathe in space. That's the whole point of those suits. Barbara. That makes literally no sense. Unless she's dead, that Barbara? makes no sense. Barbara? She's dead. <laughs> she would have Barbara, to be. where are you? Barbara! Girl, you better not go out there too. How is she still walking? There's no, there shouldn't be oxygen there. This must not be a moon. It must be some weird planet with oxygen on it because Barbara's not wearing anything to help her breathe. Yes, all right. My TARDIS. Well, that was uh, unsettling. I don't even know where to begin with all of that. Um, it was, uh, that was weird. That was super weird. Um, Barbara just really was attached to that bracelet. It'd be nice if she could have just let it go. <laughs> but, you know, she kept feeling something pulling her. It is interesting how even when you're on the ship, you're not safe, clearly, based on this episode. I thought that they landed on a moon. It seemed like they landed on a moon. It's the whole reason why I thought Ian and the doctor took those special suits so that they could breathe. But then they both just went out into space. So I guess they're not actually in outer space. They're on some planet that has a an extended night period. I don't know, either way, there are moments when I wish that they would just put door locks 
<laughs> like from the inside, but I'm sure someone would probably hack them and Ugh, good Lord. Anyway, that's what happens on the show, right? That's what happens. So <laughs> let's see what happens next until next time when this dude does it again. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel and our other channel, youtube.com slash fanning out. You can also support us by watching full length reactions and more at patreon.com slash fan theory TV. And we have a merch store where you can buy all kinds of goodies at teespring.com slash store slash fan theory TV.